Peace of the Lord be with you. Welcome to the fourth Sunday in Lent. And today we get to read about eternal life and genuine love. And eternal life comes from baptism and believing in Jesus Christ as our risen Lord and Savior. Follow us on YouTube at Faith Inglewood 3320. Please come out and worship with us every Sunday at 9 a.m. in the beautiful city of Inglewood, California. Uh, follow us on our website at www.faithing.org. Uh, every day is a blessed day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Um, as we gather, we hear today of eternal life that is given to us because of God's great love for us, shown to us in perhaps the most famous Bible verse, John 3:16. This verse speaks of God's genuine love for us and the world shown in Jesus' death on the cross for us. The love of God never ends. God's love is present here and now, and extends into eternal life as eternal love. May we be so encouraged by God's love that we share it with others. Thanks be to God for such love. Amen. Amen. Everyone who believes that Jesus is Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whomever he has, has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
Amen. Please rise. Welcome to the divine service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Our Lenten journey leads us to the cross where Jesus gave his life. And then to the resurrection and eternal life. Please join in our opening hymn, Built on the Rock. seated. Let us confess our sins. Though Christ has loved us with this genuine love that gives us eternal life, we sometimes ignore his love and refuse to share Christ's love with others. Yet still, our Heavenly Father is merciful, and he invites us to draw near to him in hope and confidence to ask for his grace. Let us take a moment of silence for self-reflection and repentance. Heavenly Father,
we have not loved our enemies. Forgive us, renew our love on account of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ was lifted up on the tree of the cross so that we might be forgiven. His genuine love is for the world and for you. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I there forgive you of all of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We are forgiven by the genuine love of Jesus. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though an enemy be encamped against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. He will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and their praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. Your mercies are new every morning. And though we deserve only punishment, you receive us as your children and, and you provide for all our needs of body and soul. <clears throat> Grant that we may heartily acknowledge your merciful goodness, that we give thanks for all your benefits and that we serve you in willing obedience through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. May the God of peace and joy fill you all with hope and love. Peace be with you. And also with you. Greet everyone with the wave of peace. Peace of the Lord be with you. In our ministry today, I'm going to read uh, from Jesus always. And uh, God's word is always right on time. And today the reading is, my ways are mysterious and unpredictable. My ways are mysterious and unpredictable, but they are good. When you look at the world events, with so much rampant evil, it is easy to fear. It is easy to feel fearful and discouraged. You cannot comprehend why I allow such cruelty and suffering. The difficulty lies in the fact that I am infinite and you are not. Many things are simply beyond your comprehension, but do not despair. When you reach the limits of your understanding, Trusting me will carry you onward. 
Affirm, affirm your trust in me through silent and spoken prayers. Stay in communication with me. Don't get trapped in a posture of demanding to know why. Why, Lord? Why, Lord? This is the wrong question to ask me. The, quest, the right questions are, how do you want me to view this situation? And what do you want me to do right now? You cannot change the past. So start with the present moment and seek to find my way forward. Trust me, one day, one moment, at one time. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will strengthen you, and I will help you. These are the words of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Call to prayer. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, as we come before you with our prayers and our petitions, we thank you for your genuine love and we pray, Jesus, may our hearts be burning. Lord Jesus Christ, show your love to all those who have, who have experienced broken families broken homes and broken churches. Surround them with your love and, and with people who will love them as you have loved them. Jesus, may our hearts be burning. Lord Jesus Christ, extend your love to all those who have abandoned the faith. Strengthen us to lovingly invite them towards your genuine love for the world. Jesus, may our hearts be burning. Lord Jesus Christ, in your earthly life, you experienced the death of those who you've loved. Bring comfort to all those who are suffering in such grief. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for, for our sister Sharon and her family. Lord, they were at a repass and someone passed. Lord, it is beyond our, our human understanding, but God is good all the time. We pray for Tatum. We pray for the passing of Sky Jones, Lord. Lord, you left, you taken him to be with you and and his three children are wondering why. Bring peace. Let us love one another in these times of grief. Lord, we just don't understand, but all hope is in you. Lord, point them to hope of eternal life with you. Jesus, may our hearts be burning. Lord Jesus Christ, be present with all those who are, are single. Encourage them with the love of friends and family. Provide caring people to remind them that they are not alone. 
Jesus, may our hearts be burning with more fervent love for you. Lord Jesus Christ, you have prepared many good works for us to do in our earthly lives. Give us courage to do those good works with joy, expecting nothing in return, knowing that we are saved by grace alone. Jesus, may our hearts be burning with more fervent love for you. Lord, look with favor upon all who are sick, injured, and recovering. Lord, we especially pray for, we pray for Faith Lutheran Church. We pray for Marcia and Zoe and Betty and Desmond and Beryl and Shayla and Larita, Lucia, Ava, Kimberly, Deborah and Joseph and Freddie and Kurt, Gwendolyn. Pray for Tony, Broughton, and family as you call one of their members to glory. We pray for Sylvia and Carol and Aaron and Kim and Rodney and Shirley, Welton Sr. And pray for our sister Adrian Carrington and her safe travels. Good to see you, Adrian. Pray for our grandson Timothy as he has found the Lord. We pray for Mimi Carmichael. We pray for Zelda and Cheryl and Derek and June and London and Albert. Pray for Troy and Sabrina. And once again, we hold our sister Sharon close to our heart, Lord. We pray for Carol and Sierra, Odessa and Mike and Sandra. Pray for William, Leslie, Claire, Grant and Terry. Pray for my cousin Vermeil on the passing of her mom. Pray for my aunts, Dorothy and Mildred in Milwaukee. Thank you for blessing me with Deacon Reggie and Sister Marilyn and all the prayers and support, Lord. We pray for Elena and Ariona. Pray for my mom, Ruby, my wife, Sabrina, our son, Anthony. We pray for Udolpha and Barbara Getz. We pray for Patsy, Stephen, Leslie, and John Green, Bishop Cleophas, and First Lady Stephanie. Pray for our sister Elaine and all her support, and Lynn and her support. Pray for Sean and you lead him on the path to a healthy lifestyle, Lord. And pray for his sister Simone, Stephanie, and Donald. God bless you. Lord, we, we pray for Patty and Joey Sr. as they continue to, to lay hands on Joey Jr., Lord. Bring peace to the family. Thank you, Gail and Lamont, for just being there. Pray for Lamont Sr. Pray for Keishel and Keish. Pray for Taylor, Zenora, and Tashana, Carl Jr., Daria, Colleen. And our Lord, I thank you for the wisdom of Eula Mae James. Pray for Kurt, Randy, and Rainer, Douglas, Kevin, Keith, Stanley Keith. Pray for my, my neighbor, Emma Key, such a sweet lady. Pray for Regina Jemison, Dana Johnson. Pray for Gay. Kimball and Otis Knighton, Royda Knighton, and Kevin Knighton, and Sherry Harper Knighton. Thank you, Sherry, for your, for your likes on social media. Pray for Audrey. Lord, we, we miss Lillian. We love Lillian. But Lord, we're going to trust in your, in your words and in your journey that we are going to go through together. Pray for Rhea and Dimitri. Pray for and give thanks for, for Clarine Long. And Clarine, thank you for the cards, for the words of inspiration. Thank you, Vonsell Lewis, for just being a man in your word. Praying for Venus, Daniel Sr. Pray for his wife, Vicki. And Vicki, we, we pray that your, the healing comes upon you. We pray for Daniel and Alex and baby Zion. We pray for Darlene and Davine. Thank you for the words of encouragement, Davine. We pray for Jalen and Jasmine. We pray for Desmond Morris, Marie Martin. We pray for Regina. Lord, thank you for the, for the strength and 
and knowledge that Val Murphy provides behind the scenes as we navigate these waters. We pray for Aubrey. Lord, you call Celestine Parks to be with you. We pray for her children. We pray for her son, Mo and Tamika. We pray for Ashley, Stephanie, Karen, and Joseph, and Wendy. We pray for Greg and Virginia Peniston. Lord, we, we pray for Ed Perez to help us in our challenges. Pray for Yvonne Pitts and his ministry. And pray for Bobby and Brian and Crystal and baby Rutherford and just for, for health. We, we pray for our daughter, Asia, our son, Manny, our grandchildren, Lux and, and Rico. God bless you. Pray for Vinshona and Marceau. Pray for Billy Rhodes Sr. and Debbie. Debbie, uh, God bless you and we pray that you feel better, love. We pray for Honey and Nyla. Lord, you call Vera Russell to be with you. We pray for peace in the family and understanding that we all will die and be with you one day. Pray for Pastor Sleaf and his continuing health concerns and, and Linda. We pray for Gwen Simmons and Ethel Souls and Haram and, and Sheila. And God bless you, Sheila. You, you know, your good attitude and you, you're doing well. So let the Lord continue to lead and, and hold you in his arms. Pray for Dion. We pray for peace, Dion, in your life and healthy days ahead. Larry and Zoe for the computer work around here. Margaret Talbert and her, Lord, just give her peace and clarity and a, a peace of mind. Effie, thank you. Just thank you, Effie. Pray for Peter Todd and Robert Terrell. Pray for our sister Gloria Truitt who is going on some ongoing health challenges and pray for Taylor Turner and her, her college endeavors. Lord, God bless you uh, for sending Nikki Vaden to see us at Bible study this Wednesday. Wednesday. We love you, Nikki, and, and lean on the Lord, and he will heal you. Pray for Marie and Chris and Elijah and Ethan. Pray for our sister Ruth, her son Theron. We pray for Naya and Mike and Jabari, Damani and Tanya. We pray for Michael and Tamara and Gail Williams and baby Ava. We pray for Zenon and Richardson. Lord, all those who are hospitalized and shut in, we pray for the caregivers and the first responders and all those who contribute to healing your people, Cassandra, Yazid. We pray for those who are assisted living facilities and have mercy upon them and lead them on the path to health according to your will, Lord. Lord, let us say happy birthday, Marilyn. And we celebrate all who are celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. We pray for the shared ministries here on our campus. We pray for those in the mission field, Lord, Psalms, Dance, Network, New Salvation, and New Challenge Ministries. Lord, be with Albert on his upcoming travels. Thank you, Albert. For those who work to bring peace, justice, and health and protection in this and every place. Lord, we pray for the NWML and their ongoing ministries and their upcoming convention. We pray for the VEMT, Lord. We just, Lord, guide us, lead us along the way. We pray for government officials, military, law enforcement. We pray for those in college, high school, middle school, elementary school, and preschool. And Lord, we pray for those who are just grieving, going through bereavement, we pray for the Baker family, Vera Finley Russell Baker, and, and all my first cousins, Lord. You know, the longer you live, the more you call to glory, Lord. We pray for families of police brutality, families of natural disasters, and we pray for family friction. Lord, can you, can you bring us together as families? at home and in church. 
have mercy upon them and restore them to health according to your wisdom. Jesus, may our hearts be burning. With more fervent love for you. Lord Jesus, we command all these people, all these situations into your gracious hands. For you have promised in love to hear our prayers. For you live and you reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit. One God now forever. Let the people say amen. 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 We now have the opportunity to bless the Lord with our tithes and with our offerings. Amen. Be still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change, ye faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Father in heaven, when we consider the gift of your only son, we're self-conscious of the meager gifts that we bring. Therefore, we pray for a stronger faith to give of ourselves and our possessions more generously to those in need and to support the resurrection ministry through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We continue with the reading of the word of God.
May the peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. The Old Testament reading is recorded in Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 through 9. Moses lifts up the bronze serpent to save the people of Israel. From Mount Or they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom, and the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food, no water, and we loathe this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. And if a serpent <coughs> bit anyone, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <coughs> our psalm of the day. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. And gather him from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with the good things. We continue with our music ministry. Oh, oh, oh. 
May the peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. The epistle is recorded in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. We are saved by grace through faith. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raise us up with him and seat us up with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Gospel according to St. John, the third chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world. And people love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his work should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Christ. Hymn of the day, he arose. You may be seated. And laid it in the tomb, and the Lord 
Yes, amen. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and from our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Eternal life and genuine love. Everyone loves a, a good love story. Everyone has a favorite movie and a favorite song about love. <clears throat> I was sitting down reading yesterday and the Commodores came on. 1975. <laughs> and Lionel Richie was singing Sweet Love. And he has this, this line in this song that is just fantastic. He says, put a little love in your heart and a little heart in your love. I was like, all right, Lord, let's go with that. <laughs> so there's something about a love song or a story that makes, that makes us feel good about ourselves. And love is a it's a wonderful gift. Love is a gift that was given to us at creation from our Heavenly Father. Love is something that we as human beings, we all desire love. We want to feel the warmth, the security, the tenderness, that comes from being loved and being in love and loving someone. We want to be loved by our parents, our spouse, our children, our friends, and our co-workers. But yet, no matter how great our love story is, it pales in, in comparison to the unconditional love that God the Father has shown to us through his only begotten Son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Oftentimes, we think of love as, a, as an emotion, a good feeling, some sweet words. And there's nothing wrong with those feelings or emotions. And they are a legitimate part of love. Yet at, at some point, if love is to be genuine, it must be willing to be more than just words. Genuine love needs to be willing to become tangible. Tangible, real, 
visible, physical, and action. It needs to be genuine. It's easy to love the cute little baby. They so cute and smell so good. It's easy to love the little puppy you see in a pet store in the window. So cute. But what about loving the unlovable? What about when we encounter the unlovable? When was the last time we was confronted by a homeless person who you could smell before he even got up on you? What about the drug addicted person that we see? What about someone you just totally disagree with, period? What about our enemies? What do we do we, when we encounter those situations? Do we show them true and genuine Christian love? The opportunities for us to show love are just not circumstantial. They're not by happenstance. Genuine love is found in the people that God has intentionally put into our lives. And he's asked us to care for them. God's unconditional love will set your agenda. His love guides our decisions. His love de determines our actions through the same kind of genuine love that he first showed to us. Genuine love is hard. It's hard work. Love is not always a romantic comedy. Love is not always a Hallmark card. Love is not always flowers. Love is not always Hershey's chocolate kisses. Genuine love is hard. Genuine love does not always make us feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Oftentimes, genuine love means rolling up your sleeves and giving up all that you have. It is important to note that when we give of our lives in service to others, this is just not the end of our life. It is rather the beginning of a new life in Christ. A genuine love is focused on and centered in Christ and the love he wants us to share. Genuine love sometimes means saying, I was wrong. Genuine love means saying, I am sorry. Sometimes genuine love means that we love our neighbor enough to call them out. Call them out on their sins and we hold them accountable. Reminding them that they too need to repent. We talked about the village in Bible study. When we were growing up, and our neighbors would call us out as kids when we was doing wrong. They held us accountable for our sins. And you still got in trouble twice because they told your parents they called you out. <laughs> but it was love. It was for the community. And as you grew, you knew it was for your own good. Love is hard work. Genuine love sometimes 
includes a sleepless night, anguish, pain, sorrow. It's more painful when your love is not returned. They call this where the rubber meets the road or when the stuff hits the fan. It's time to make a change in your approach to genuine love. This is when we find out what genuine love is all about. For it's at these times when love is an emotion, it becomes an action. An action requires that we give up of ourselves for the sake of others. So what does this have to do in the season of Lent? Everything. God's love for humanity became tangible, physical, action in his life and his death and his resurrection for us. This intimate, unconditional, genuine love that Jesus has for us is at the heart of our Lenten season. Today, we are, we're inching closer to the day when Jesus shows us his ultimate genuine love by dying on the cross to save us from our sins. We all know John 3, 16, but what about John 3, 17? For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. As we look and as we see, there is no greater love that can be expressed than what Jesus did for us. Jesus was not sent into the world to condemn us. He was sent to save us. And it is only through Jesus that we can know what genuine love truly is like. Christ has shown the ultimate genuine love for us by fulfilling his Father's will. Jesus has not only given us his love, but he's given us all that he has and all that he is in his very body and blood shed for us on the cross. Today, out of genuine love, Christ makes us his very own. This is the kind of genuine love we, we see in the waters of our holy baptism, a love that is rich in grace and mercy, and it, it's just full of forgiveness. In our epistle for today, but God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love he, he has for us, even we were dead in our trespasses, he made us alive in Christ. It is by grace that we are saved. It is by grace that we receive eternal life. This is the love that our Heavenly Father has for us. It did not come easy. His love for us cost him a great deal. Matter of fact, it cost him his only son. It is in the triune God that we see the fulfillment of what genuine love looks like. In God the Father, we see genuine love that is modeled by Christ and his bride, which is the church. In God the Son, we see genuine love that spreads out his arms and he dies for us. In God the Holy Spirit, we see a genuine love that does not let us live apart from God, but calls us back home into his holy house. If we think we deserve God's love, we are wrong. Let us be very honest. There are many times when we are, we are not lovable. There are many actions that we do that are not lovable. But God loves us. Yet even in our own sin, we are reminded that God's love 
is forever. It's infinite. It's unconditional. Even though we are a sinful people. The problem is earthly love. Earthly love is all over the place. One moment we love you, one moment we angry, one moment we, want, we don't want to see you. That's earthly love. I ain't got nothing to do with you. Jesus is telling us to forget about ourselves and what we think and how we feel. And do not judge his love by our fickle brains and what we do and what the world says. Look to Jesus and he will show us genuine love. For today, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And he says, whoever, he says, whoever, not us. He says, whoever believes in him has eternal life. What this means is that Jesus put his genuine love into action for us by dying on the cross for our sins. Even though we offer him nothing in return through our sinful ways. The Lord says, this is not the end of our story. He writes a new genuine story just for us. He did that for us by giving up his only son. And whoever believes in him shall not perish, but you get the free, genuine gift of eternal life. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which surpasses all our human understanding, Guard our hearts and guard our minds in Christ everlasting. Amen.
please rise? <coughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give them thanks and praise. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who overcame the assaults of the devil and gave his life as ransom for many, <coughs> that with cleansed hearts we might be prepared joyfully to celebrate the Paschal Feast in sincerity and in truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you've had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and blood on the cross. Gather in the name and remembrance of Jesus. We beg you, O Lord, to increase our faith and love so that we might reflect the genuine love of Jesus into the world. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory and honor and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is given to you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. For the forgiveness of sins, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Amen. Come, come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, and given us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, and your ascension into heaven. And you're coming for the final judgment, so remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, which art in temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Peace of the Lord be with you always. be seated we continue with the sacrament of holy communion those who are able come to the communion rail Jesus Christ says, take and eat the body of Jesus given for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Take and eat. In the same way also, he says, take and drink his blood shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Do this often in remembrance of him. It is through this eating and drinking that you be strengthened in your Christian faith and life. Go into the world with peace and joy, with the full forgiveness and genuine love of all your sins. Depart in peace. Let the people say amen. 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 Let us praise God together on our knees let us praise God together on our knees when I fall on my knees with my face to the rising
Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you've refreshed us through this meal where we receive your genuine love. Keep us firm in the faith and increase our love of you and our neighbors. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. <clears throat> The Lord make his face shine down upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and the Lord give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here, my Lord. Come by here, come by here, my Lord, come by here, come by here, my Lord, come by here, oh, Lord. come by Someone needs you, Lord, come by here. Someone needs you, Lord, come by here. Someone needs you, Lord, come by here. Someone's praying, Lord, come by here. Someone's praying, Lord, come by here. Someone's praying, Lord, come by Peace of the Lord be with you.